What's up guys and gals? Got another KLR video for you. So I was riding the old bike on the woods a couple days ago and um, frame bolt broke. Let me show you what's going on here. So in the original stock KLR, there's two bolts, one going through here, one going from the other side, and both those sheared off. It's out in the back country and uh, wasn't a good situation. So we'll get home though, you know, the whole freaking back end dropped. Tank kind of pulled forward, but I was able to get home very slowly. Um, I opted to uh, replace this bolt with a through bolt, the six centimeter through bolt on the six, uh, six inches. It was, um, it was a difficult job because the bolts were in there, you know, I couldn't get them out. So I just drilled right through. Yeah, it took a while. Did a pilot hole on one side, and I come on in from the other side and do that back and forth. Uh, I got a three eighths inch grade eight bolt from the auto store. You know, I couldn't really find any grade twelve. If you use the Eagle Mike kit, uh, I think they have a grade twelve bolt in that kit. But I think it was uh, pretty good. The thing you have to watch out for is when you're putting this bolt together. You know, I had to put a socket in there. I used the socket as a spacer. A five inch bolt would probably be better than a six inch bolt. But you also have to keep in mind that the, the socket needs to fit in there. So, you know, this socket fits inside there fairly well and works and you're able to tighten it. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, it was really hard doing it by myself. You know, I had a board jacking up the back of the motorcycle like that. Damn. And I was able to um, kind of keep this front end up by myself and wiggle this bolt in. Drilling it out was tough. Getting it in was tough. It was a tough job. But I uh, got it done. Once again, I used a socket, 916 socket as a spacer with a 6-inch bolt. A 5-inch bolt would have worked better, but I couldn't find a 5-inch bolt. So I used a 6-inch. Seems like it's fixed now, though. Hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.